that's the family tree of the Miochasim in Yerushalayim. This is the first Miochas. He came from directly from Spain and Turkey to Yerushalayim. And from then on, we know that he came very long way till my grandchildren, which is about or less than 500 years in Yerushalayim. And here I am, that's myself, married to a woman which is Meyuchas too. But she's a Shkenazi, what can I do? And there are more than 5,000 Meyuchasim in Yerushalayim, more than that. I don't know really how many, but not less than 6,000. Yerusalem im Lager, an Özrechtagat zu Genovjev. Jere als ganze Razzia, Aran Ager mit Radelje, Demagat, bei Zaratia, Lanjan. As an Armenian, I have very solid origins to my Armenianship. My grandmother and grandfather came from Turkey from uh, historical Armenia, let's say, that is occupied today by Turkey. This was a commemorative service for the souls of 12, two of my relatives. The, the service was done by three of our priests from the convent. So it's our right, the Jerusalem community is every member's right, to ask for a commemorative service from the church every year, whenever it's, uh, it's the anniversary date. When we start talking about uh, the history of Jerusalem and the Muslims in Jerusalem, we have to talk about the traditional Muslim families. There are several of them. One of these families is mine, the Alami family. It's been in Jerusalem for now 600 years. And uh, this complex of buildings is very much tied to my family. It's also tied to Christians as well. For example, here is the place where, according to Christians, Jesus ascended to heaven. Uh, it's called the Ascension Place. Around the middle of 16th century, there was a member of my family by the name of Muhammad Alami, and that's also my name, Muhammad Alami. He decided to come out here and contemplate and uh, many people used to come here and ask for his blessings. To the tourist, Jerusalem might seem like a museum, but to us people who live here, it's our hometown. here in the Silwan village, which in Hebrew is called Harshiloah. That means the fountain. There is a fountain here. And I'm sure these are caves from David's time. Meyuchas family came here afterwards. I don't know exactly, but on 1918. And my grandfather, he built here a house with two stores, two as you see, it's a very old house. I was born here. It remembers my grandfather, my father, my family, and the good relations with the Arab neighbors. This is the oldest part of the cemetery of the Mount of Olives. As you see, that's really the burying place that all Jews want to be buried here because they are waiting the Messiah to come and they will be risen. I am very excited here. These are my ancestors. The biggest one of all 
is Rabbi Shmuel Miuchas. In the middle, there is a Miuchas, which we don't know exactly who he was. All over the place, as you see, all these stones are put in the name of Meyuchas family. Here we have a rabbi, and there is, and there is another one. All of them are buried in this holy place of Mount of Olives. That's where Mashiach will come. And he will come inside the city by the gate of mercy and pity, which is really in front of those graves. We are in front of the Kotel Maravi, which means the wall of weeping, weeping for the destruction of the Holy Temple. My ancestors, the Miyohas family, had a concession here to light candles in remembrance of the old generations. So my grandfather was here near the Kotel, lighting for everyone the candles to remember those who had gone to the sky. We feel the Christianity more and more. All the way around, we feel as Christians, as Armenians, because we have feasts five times a year, we had real holidays, we have uh, really celebrations, religious celebrations. So we feel it, we are attached to the religion more than anybody else, any, any, any other co Armenian community. My family is very touched, with very connected to the religion. My father was a man that went every Sunday to church. My grandfather, uh, every morning he went to the church, and after a prayer he went to his work. So that's, that, that's very obvious that my uncle is a priest. <laughs> That's the place where we lived, in the old city of Jerusalem. This place was hired by my father and mother to live here some years. And why inside the walls of the city? Because at, at night, the doors were closed and no one could come inside. So we hired these places from Arabs. We had a very good relations with our neighbors, very good. We could talk to them, we talked Arabic, and it changed here, it was changed, but the houses are still as they were. This is the oldest Jewish synagogue in the old city. It's named after a very wise old man from the Roman time. His name was Rabban, which means Rabbi of the Rebbes, Yohanan ben Zakai. Well, Miucha's family is connected. They came from Spain here to Jerusalem. They found the oldest synagogue, this olden synagogue, and here they were crowned as chief rabbis of all Israel. I remember my bar mitzvah here. My mother, old mother, she threw candies on my head, telling my boy is becoming a man. My daughter made the wedding here because that is the synagogue of the Meyuchas family in Jerusalem. It is emotions to be here in the Rabban Yohanan ben Zakai synagogue. 